What is up, Sopranos fans? This is Pure Kino, and I'm back with another Sopranos vlog. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the fourth episode, Meadowlands. Um, and this episode um, starts with Tony um, kind of becoming paranoid about being caught going to therapy. Um, you know, he's a high profile mobster. He's worried that if people find out he's going to therapy, um, one, they're going to think he looks weak, um, but two, they're going to start to wonder if he's revealing confidential secrets to this therapist. I mean, it could lead to his death. So he's not really sure if he can trust Melfi. He, he wonders if she might reveal um, information. So he has uh, this corrupt police detective who works for him, Vin McKenzie, and um, start to follow her. Uh, now, Vin is drunk. He's kind of a degenerate. Um, and he thinks that Melfi is Tony's girlfriend. And when he sees Melfi going on a date, he pulls them over um, and just starts beating the shit out of uh, her date thinking it's it's for Tony, but uh, Tony obviously did not want her messed with. But another thing going on in this episode is the conflict between Tony and Junior. Um, you'll remember the last episode, Junior had Brendan executed to send a message to Tony that he means business. Um, Christopher is really mad about this. Um, he wants to go after Junior, um, but Tony does not want a war. And he settles on just beating up um, Mikey Palmis. Taking a stapler, which which is not the most brutal thing in the series, but it was just that was kind of a painful, um, you know, attack. He starts stapling this ticket to his shirt, which I mean, you can you can already see just why they hate each other so much. Like this was just boiling over at this point. But things take an even worse turn when um, Jackie April passes away. Now the New Jersey family is without leadership, and it becomes clear that Tony and Junior are going to fight for the title of boss. It has to be one of them. Uh, Junior does not want to back down, um, but Tony actually gets the idea from Melfi to let Junior have the illusion of control. Um, so Tony agrees to let Junior become the boss, even though he's the one who's going to be making all the real decisions. He's the real power. Junior's just a figurehead, and he's there to take the hit when the when the FBI come down on the family. They want the leader. Junior's the one who's going to pay that price. Um, and it's funny, Tony actually convinces Junior to give him one of his unions, um, in exchange for the title of boss. So, in fact, Junior is actually paying for this, which is um, pretty funny. It shows to it shows you just how smart Tony is and how great a strategist he is. Um, so Tony decides to stay in therapy as a result of that. You know, he gets a lot of good ideas from Melfi, um, which would become a theme. A lot of the, a lot of the things he discusses in therapy end up inadvertently helping him become a worse person by being a better mobster, which is pretty funny. Um, and the last little subplot in this episode is the fact that AJ um, gets into a fight at school with this bigger kid. They go after school to to finish the fight, um, but Tony had run into the kid's father earlier in the episode. Um, and even though he was acting nice, um, the father was really intimidated because Tony has this you know really tough reputation as a mobster. And he basically told the kid that uh, he, he's not allowed to fight AJ. Um, and AJ's confused about this. He doesn't really understand... Um, that his family is connected to the mafia until Meadow straightens him out and shows him a website that confirms that, yeah, that his family is connected to some bad stuff. Um, and as the episode ends at Jackie's funeral, um, we see AJ start to realize, um, you know, just what his family is a part of. And he's he's kind of losing his innocence a little bit. He's discovering um, the truth about them, which which is really interesting to see. I guess one last thing to note would be that this is the first time we're introduced to the uh, capos of the New Jersey family. We got Larry Boy Baris, uh, Jimmy Altieri, and Ray Curto. Now these guys, despite the fact that they're the leadership of, of the family, they start to play a, like less and less of a part as the series goes on. Um, it's mostly in the first season that they're involved, and then after that, um, Tony's associates kind of taking over more, you know, like Paulie and Christopher and Silvio. But yeah, it was interesting to see them, and then we'll get to learn a little bit more about them moving forward, too. So yeah, that is Meadowlands, a great setup to you know the conflict that we know is brewing on the horizon between Tony and Junior. Um, yeah, can't wait to review more episodes. Coming soon.